Hello, Professor. This is Narsim Haramakam. Today, we are here to present our final project of distributed cloud computing, section 740. So our topic is movie review system. So what we did in this project is we are trying to deploy the movie review system in cloud using Azure. So next slide. So these are our team members and this is our, our role in our project. So here Vishwanath Varma is a project lead and a cloud developer. Myself Narsimha is a front-end application developer. And Ravi Shankar helped me in the front-end develop, application developer. And uh, Manasa is a back-end application developer. Maleshwari is a cloud developer. And Bhavani is a database developer. Next slide, please. So from here, Vishwanath will take over the presentation. So uh, coming to the technical requirements for the front-end, we have used the Angular version 9 bootstrap, uh, CSS, and the HTML web application. For IDE, we use the uh, Visual Studio Code uh, along with the MongoDB database. Uh, we have used the Azure Cloud Platform for our deployment. And we have used a basic machine of uh, 4 GB storage and a 2 GB of RAM. And coming to the backend, we have used the .NET 6.0 as well as the MongoDB database. So this is a basic structure of the workflow between the front end uh, application and the back end. So in the front end, uh, we use a uh, different kind of uh, databases uh, for the back end uh, storage and stuff. So ang we used Angular for the front end application. .NET uh, we have then converted it into APIs uh, using the .NET. And finally, we have stored it into a database of uh, created within the MongoDB. So this is a basic uh, work structure. Sorry. So this is a Angular UI application uh, code flow. So firstly, we have uh, created an index.html file. We added some components into it. And from there, we have uh, uh, written our routing module. So from the routing module, uh, you can choose whatever page you want to uh, visit. So for the upcoming movies, uh, you go into the app uh, upcoming uh, module and it takes you to the upcoming component page. And similarly, it does with home login, uh, insert movies or update movies into the database, delete a movie or to know the ratings of the IMDb and stuff. <clears throat> so next, uh, this is the Angular uh, project uh, index main code. So as we discussed in our previous uh, slide, index.html. So this is the code we have uh, developed for the front end using Angular. And these are the client uh, login and register pages respectively uh, developed on the front end with Angular. So this is a UI to API integration for login service. So here we have, uh, as you can see, we have uh, <clears throat> uh, highlighted this movies DCC uh, underscore UI. So this code represents uh, the integration page of the web application using uh, the login URL and the register URL in green, which are highlighted within the code. Next comes the app module. So we have imported uh, different kinds of uh, uh, components, as we said. So it includes the app routing module, app components, the HTTP client services, the header component, uh, collection of top movies, uh, the upcoming movies, uh, ones uh, rated high on the IMDb and everything of it. So next is uh, the UI to API integration for the login service. So once uh, we integrate it with the UI with the API, uh, so this is the homepage that we get into. Next comes the different services of movies. So as you can see here, uh, uh, we get we have a menu uh, page on our home screen. 
So once we click on that menu, uh, we get this kind of screen. For movies, we uh, we can search for the top movies, upcoming or highest rated movies. And if you want to update the movies, you can actually insert a movie, update a movie and also delete a movie. So if you want to insert a movie, this is all it has to do. So the popularity, budget, the casting, the title of the movie, the director and the whole cast and crew of it. So this is the filtering of the movies. So here I have actually uh, uh, actually filled out all the components. So basically you have a drop down and with all the movies available, you can just uh, filter out the movies uh, according to what you want. So it can either be the highest rated movies or some uh, cast related movies and stuff. So once you submit here, you get a list of recommendations. So uh, this is how it would look. So you can, as per your search, uh, we can also de describe the relevance of your search and how relevant it is related to this particular movie. So if you have searched something and it matches to 80%, which is the relevance that we have described here. So this is, and uh, so this is uh, basically the page that we have uh, uh, to insert a particular movie. So this is an example of it. And uh, so you can also delete any of the movies. So these are all the list of movies that are actually added before. So if, uh, if it's time to delete it, you can just select it and delete that particular movie. So integration with the web API with Angular. So in this application, mainly we had used uh, uh, NMROP services of uh, integration part from the backend to the server. We are using API from the Azure cloud. So we get movie data, which will return to the movies. Uh, as we get them year by year, which will take the uh, particular year as an input and it will return movies uh, that have released in that particular year. And moreover, we get the movies by their ID numbers, which will return the movie based on the uh, ID itself. So this is integration of UI with uh, APIs uh, deployed from the Azure cloud. So as you can see, uh, all of the links get insert and everything are uh, currently deployed in the Azure cloud. And uh, as we deploy it there, uh, we get into the application part of the user interface, which we'll look at it later. Mm. So these are all the actions, get movie data, update movie, insert, delete and everything. So this is, uh, this is a scrapper tool. So in this tool, we uh, actually test all our APIs or if they are currently working or not. So actually we, after Angular, we convert it into .NET. Uh, for our backend. So this is the application that we have built. Applic we have used, and this is, these are all the filters to it. So these are our code of converting from Angular to the .NET. And similarly, everything goes here. There are multiple tasks uh, that uh, our application requires. So this is, uh, these are all the list of uh, actions. And uh, here, this is an example of the INDB controllers list. So this is actually the functionality of how to update or how to delete each of the movies and uh, create a search box using the IMDB uh, initial data or the IMDB data that we enter. So these are all the list of movie APIs. So Swagger is a tool that we have used 
to test out all the APIs that we have uh, worked on. So coming to the database, we have used the MongoDB, uh, which is a documented database, uh, which is scalable and flexible to use uh, with querying and indexing. So MongoDB is an open source uh, database based on the NoSQL, uh, which is used as an alternative to traditional relate relational databases. So MongoDB is a tool that can manage uh, document-oriented information. And uh, NoSQL databases are quite useful for working with large sets of distributed data. And MongoDB is also a non-relational database document database that provides support for uh, .json files, uh, including the storage. So the MongoDB database has a flexible data model uh, that can store uh, unstructured data as well as unlimited data, and it provides full indexing support, and it replicates with rich and uh, improving APIs. So integration with the database, MongoDB. Here's information about uh, the different uh, uh, different collection we used in database and connection string to connect from .NET code. So MongoDB connector file. So we here we will find all the basic APIs for MongoDB collection into this file and all basic CRUD operations will perform here uh, like an ORM. So configuring, configuring the database connection on, uh, on the startup. So in startup classes, uh, we have to add MongoDB connectors as below. So these are the particular codes of adding uh, MongoDB into the .NET code. As you can see here, highlighted in red, it's the connection string to MongoDB. So that makes it a connection from .NET to the database. And in app settings.json file, uh, you can also see a connection string uh, for MongoDB to movies database. Yes, and creating a database. This is all the code for creating the required database. So after creating, this is a sample output data or the thing we have created. And coming to the cloud deployment, we have used the Azure. So it is used to build, manage, and monitor everything for simple web apps to complex cloud applications in a single unified console. So we create a resource group to maintain the entire application and its services. And we created an app service plan to estimate the cost. We can scale up and scale down at any time. And later we create an uh, app service to deploy and run the code. While creating, we can select the tech stack and create them as per our requirements. <clears throat> so we have uh, firstly created an Azure Cloud account and we have deployed some services. And then this uh, DCC final <clears throat> is that we have added different services for UPIs, APIs, and database into the cloud as shown in this figure. So you can see six components up here, movies, DCC, the database, UI, and stuff. So this is the um, movies, DCC thing. And uh, uh, these are all the analytics that we have worked it's basically all uh the readings of how our application worked and next is all the deployments so we had of two unsuccessful things at the first but we have managed getting them back and the rest of them are all successful so deploying the angular code on cloud we have used the app services in vs code for deploying it on azure so as have, we have discussed, these are all the links uh, that we have got from the Azure account and deployed it in our code so that the app runs from the cloud application. So uh, we'd, uh, we select a disk uh, folder to deploy the cloud, which is on our local computer. 
So once you select it uh, and deploy it into the cloud, uh, the application gets running. And uh, this is a UI and the status is as running over here. And this is, uh, as you can see, there's a URL column here. And that is what we have uh, should copy and deploy it on our code and run it so that the application gets going. So our API depends on the MongoDB database and this is where we have configured it. Uh, next comes that, uh, so as you can see a publish button up here. So once you enter it, the application gets published with all the UIs, APIs and the cloud, I mean the database connections and everything gets running. Uh, so this is the application status of the app service and statistics. Uh, yeah, details of this uh, movies database deployed on the cloud. And this is the info for connecting the movies database deployed on the cloud. So there are all, are you, I mean, Azure provides all uh, the code for .NET, Node.js, MongoDB, Java, Python, and everything. So this is a quick start and you can just uh, copy this code uh, from Azure into your local uh, VS code for connecting it with the cloud service. And uh, that keeps it all running. And this is all about our presentation. Thank you so much.